Hi, and welcome to Worldwide Center of Math's Problem of the Week. This week, we have a fun little pool table problem that we're going to be doing. So the problem is a rectangular pool table has vertices at 0, 0, 12, 0, 0, 10, 12, 10. There are pockets in all four of these corners, and a ball is hit from 0, 0 along the line y equals x and bounces off several of the walls before it eventually enters a pocket. Find the number of walls it bounces off before entering that pocket. Um, so to begin, we've just drawn a quick little graph of what the pool table would look like. And there's actually a couple ways to do this problem, and probably the easiest way would be to just use the same graph and since the line the ball travels is y equals x, its reflection from hitting a wall is just y equals negative x. Um, so using that, you can kind of trace where the ball goes until it ends up in a pocket and count how many walls it hits. We're going to do it a little different way with some more visualization. So what we're going to do is since the line y equals x is just the opposite of itself during a reflection, um, what we can do is imagine that there's another 12 by 10 graph directly off of this corner right here at 12, 10 and trace just the straight line of y equals x from this graph into the next one until uh, the ball ends up in one of the pockets. So to start, we've drawn the first kind of path that the ball takes from 0, 0. It obviously ends up at the point 10, 10 right here. And imagining that there's another graph, uh, this line exits the graph. And since it's two away, it goes two up. And it would re-enter using the same graph. It would re-enter the next one. Um, two spaces up from its original path. So to start, we're just going to keep we're going to keep track of the lines y and x that the ball actually hits. Um, so to begin, you can see that the first place the ball hits is the line y equals 10. And then as the ball exits right here, it's going to hit another line right here of x equals 12, which if we're using the same graph again, is going to be this point. So now I'm just going to trace the next path that the ball takes as it continues through the pool table. So now we can see the second path that the ball takes. Um, it enters at what would be the point uh, right here on another graph. Um, and it continues through and then would exit here. So it actually hits two points. We already knocked off this first point here. It's at x equals 12. And now we have to write down what this point is, y, what line this y is. So that line would be, if we had another graph continuing, it would be y equals 20. And once again, the ball exits. It will re-enter the next graph off of this corner, which would be the third graph. And uh, since it's four away, it'll be four up, and it'll re-enter right here. Uh, so that point will actually be at x equals 24. Um, so I'm just going to draw, again, the third path that the ball takes through the pool table. So I've added in uh, what the lines x and y equal went. Uh, with the path of the ball just to make it easier to visualize. Um, so once again, the ball enters the pool table a third time uh, at x equals 24, continues on its path y equals x until it exits right here at y equals 30. And then it will continue through this space until it hits the next pool table off of this corner, and it will enter at the point x equals 36.
the ball enters at the point x equals 36, continues on the path y equals x up into the corner, and I'm just going to draw that right now. So as the ball continues along its path, it exits through the line y equals 40. And once again, since it is, I believe, one, two, eight spaces out, it's going to enter again eight spaces up on this graph at the point x equals 48. So as the ball re-enters the 12 by 10 graph at x equals 48, it's going to continue along y equals x until it exits the graph at the line y equals 50. Now as the ball exits, um, it's actually going to continue along until it hits the next graph off of this corner. It's actually going to hit at the point 60, 60, which is actually a vertice of the graph. Uh, it would actually be this vertice right here. Um, since we've added so many graphs uh, with uh, 12 by 10 graphs, uh, eventually these vertices have changed, and this one becomes 60, 60 by adding 12s and 10s consecutively. So the ball actually enters this corner right here on the final graph. So from there, we can actually use the points that we've kept track of where the ball hits the different lines y and x. And we can count up how many different walls it hit until it entered that last and final um, corner at 60-60. So counting up all of these different points, we have uh, five different Y lines that it has hit and four different X lines. So in all, the ball hit nine different walls until it actually entered one of the corner pockets. So that's all we have for you today for the problem of the week. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, please check out some more of our playlists on YouTube. Uh, check us out on Facebook and subscribe for us on Twitter. Thank you.